Well, we're back working on our G0602 CNC. And today we're going to do our motor tuning and get the motors actual spinning. There's not a whole lot of videos out there on tuning the stepper motors for your CNC. So I thought I would do a dedicated video just for that. And in the manual for Mach 3, it's pretty general in terms of motor tuning. There, there is some direction in there, um, but after reading it and tuning your motors, you still kind of come away with the feeling of, do I have mine set up correctly? And chances are you probably do. Uh, the only thing you really want to make sure of is that you're not missing any steps and you don't have any real weird noises like buzzing or stalling. So let's take a look at how to set up and tune our stepper motors. It's not really a good explanation on motor tuning. And I've seen a lot of different videos and you can hear people's uh, individuals mills running uh, and their CNC mills running and their stepper motors when they're, they're moving, they crank up real slow some crank up real fast uh, and they all sound a little bit different we're all using the same similar stepper motors so why does it sound different well that's because the way they have the motors tuned um, acceleration if you have the acceleration real slow this here is my x-axis let me turn this on the x-axis I have my velocity at 85 and my acceleration at 41. So let's see what it sounds like now. I jog it. You can see that it quickly accelerates. But if I lower, if I lower my acceleration to like 1.6, you can hear the change. See how it slowly ramps up? Now, for a meal, I'm not so sure that going slow like that is probably okay, but I'm thinking for a lathe, if you're going to be doing any threading, uh, you're wanting to get in toward the spindle, and depending on what thread you're cutting, uh, you need to back out fairly quickly. So, you need a little bit higher acceleration. So, that was like almost 2. Let's just go. Now, this is almost 15. Let's see what the difference is. So you can see what the difference is just going up to like 15. Now, on the velocity, I have it set at 85. If you set it too high, you see it's like 255. Okay, so you don't want that. So you have to start out at around 100 and then see what you got. So, around the 100 is good with an acceleration of 15. Um, I think I had it at like 40, 45 or something. 
originally. Let's see what happens. Okay, I've got a stall there, so I want to lower that. Fifteen. Okay, so that's pretty good. Let me lower this one hundred to eighty five. And that's that's pretty good there, but it may I may need to speed that up a little bit. But I know that I can go up to about a hundred on my velocity, and I can go up to forty on my acceleration. Let me bump this up to twenty-five. And you want to work it, make sure you don't get any stalls. You don't want to miss any steps. Okay. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And have a great day.